you for taking this intensive English course as a second language. My name is Tammy Creo, and I feel very happy that you're taking the first step in learning English. In this course, you will be able to learn all the basics of the English grammar to speak properly. We all learn differently. Some people are kinesthetic, others visual, and some are auditory. That means some learn writing, others watching, and some listening. Find out what you are, but try to use all three to learn faster and better. At the end of this course, you will be able to write, read, ask, and answer questions. You will have a chance to learn fast and easy with my course. Please, let me know of your progress. Thank you. In this lecture, you will learn the alphabet, some colors, nouns, singular and plural and basic words to start understanding, and also some numbers. Next, you will start learning basic verbs, adjectives, and pronouns. You will start writing and reading and answering questions. These are the greetings that you will hear at any time, at any place. So please pay attention and repeat after me. Hello. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, goodbye. This is the alphabet, vowels, A, E, I, O, U, consonants, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now the entire alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Colors. Black, blue, green, gray, orange, red, violet, white, yellow. Days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Months of the year, and you need to write down and also repeat after me in order to learn the proper names, how to write, how to spell, and how to pronounce. So we'll start now. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Seasons, winter, Spring, summer, autumn, or fall. In the United States, we call fall. Numbers. Please remember how to pronounce and also how to write them correctly. You need to learn these basic numbers in order to build the rest of the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 
30. Face, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, tooth. Teeth, more than one tooth is teeth. Head, hair, lips. Articles. De. The book, the chair, the child, the table. If the noun that follows starts with a vowel, we pronounce D. Like in the case of the apple, the eye, the elephant. Article A. A book, a chair, a child, a table. When the noun starts with a vowel, we add an N to the letter A and pronounce N. An apple, an eye, an orange, an egg. This and that. This, for instance, we have this cat, this apple, this book. It is here. I have it right here, this. That, that cat, that apple, that book. When you have something that is far from you, you use that, that over there. But if it is here, this cat, this book, this table, you use this. Fill in the correct article. Old man. Orange, field, knife, accident, hour. These are the personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it. We, you, they. I am a teacher. You are a student. He is a man. She is a girl. It is cloudy. We are at home. You are here. They are children. Adjectives. Big. Small. Tall. Short. Long. Wide. Red. Sweet. Large. more adjectives. Please repeat after me and you can find a very big list of adjectives under resources. Beautiful, pretty, ugly, handsome, lovely, clean, dirty, expensive, cheap, dangerous, happy, sad, old, dark, Heavy, shiny, clear, nice. Prepositions. This is a big list of prepositions, but just for you to have an idea. Along, about, across, at, by, behind, between, below, for, in front of, on, outside, to, under, with, beyond, in, up, over, near, toward, up, within. Please read the following sentences after me. You will notice that we are going to include pronouns, articles, nouns, also the verb to be in the third person, is which you will be learning in the next chapters. A girl is by the door. An apple is in the basket. John is on the roof. That cat is under the table. The boy is near the mother. The dog is behind the wheel. 
The car is on the bridge. Fill in the blanks with a preposition. Now that you have learned prepositions, I want you to complete the sentence with the preposition. You can choose any preposition that fits the nouns. The cat is the chair. The window is the door. The man is the yard. Mary is the bridge. The car is the street. The dog is the boy. Verb to be. We're going to learn verb to be in present tense. To be means being something or someone or being somewhere. We use verb to be as both being someone, a doctor, a woman, a dog. Also as being in, at, under, as in the case of being at school, being on the road, being by the door. You see the difference? I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. Negative form of verb to be. I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, you are not, they are not. Interrogative form and negative form. We're going to ask a question and then answer with a no. Am I a girl? No, I am not a girl. Are you a teacher? No, you're not a teacher. Is he a doctor? No, he's not a doctor. Is she a pupil? No, she's not a pupil. Is he a male? No, he's not a male. Are we students? No, we are not students. Are you in this class? No, you're not in this class. Are they players? No, they are not players. Please answer the following questions using the example below. Like, is the boy near the school? Yes, comma, the boy is near the school. Go ahead and Start listening and then you can take your time and write the answers next to it. Is Mary near the man? Is the cat on the chair? Is the book on the table? Is he under the tree? Is John behind the door? Please answer the following question and I want you to answer with yes and then no. Look at the example. Is he a man? Yes, he is a man. No, he's not a man. He is a boy. Are you a teacher? Is he a sailor? Is she a pupil? Are they all students? Is that a dog? Nouns. These are nouns. I will teach you the pronunciation. You will probably start looking up these words in a dictionary to learn the meaning of these words. Man, woman, boy, girl, cat, dog, rabbit, table, chair, sofa, bed, dinner, coffee, sugar, hair, time, rain, school, book, work, telephone, house, home, building, office, desk, pen, pencil, TV set, computer, horse, farm, tree, magazine, newspaper, camera, microphone, speaker, mouse, screen. Singular and plural. That, those, this, these, cat, cats, 
dog, dogs, chair, chairs, man, men, woman, women, shell, shelves, mouse, mice. Let's continue and next you will see the rules so you will understand why it changes here for instance in box boxes boy boys girl girls student students key keys enemy enemies baby babies pen pens wish wishes rules for plural when do you add s and when do you add es to form the plural most now simply become plural by adding an s however for a singular noun ending in s x z ch sh the plural is formed by adding es and if it ends in y it changes to i e s examples bus buses wish wishes pitch pitches baby babies city cities daisy daisies penny pennies woman women man men child children truth teeth, foot, feet, leaf, leaves, mouse, mice, goose, keys, wife, wives. As you can see, there are no changes here. Sheep, fish, deer, species, aircraft. Now write the plural of the following nouns. Remember the rules we've seen before. Now, take your time, review everything, and write the plurals as of leaf, man, roof, wolf, table, pencil, cup, book, boy, child. By now you should have plenty of words to work with. Before going into the next lecture. Please check to see how much you remember. Go over the lecture one more time to practice and improve your pronunciation. Remember to speak slowly, to be clear so people can understand you. Now we will start learning verbs and forming sentences. Therefore, please take your time and remember not to jump into the next lecture until you learn the previous lecture very well. Thank you. This is the end of lecture one. Please continue to lecture two.